Hey guys, I'm Michelle here from Fine Natural Hair and Faith and in today's video we're doing something a bit differently. It is about spring cleaning your hair products. It's about a tool that will help you to get your stuff in order. We all think we're not product junkies and I have to tell you what I'm about to show you, I was astounded because at the end of the day, if you don't gather all of your hair products together, and this is not just, you know, for hair products, but because this is a hair channel, that's what we're talking about. But any product, like any category, and excuse my, my son is in the background, like doing all kind of stuff. So we just gonna have to multitask because I have no nurse today. But if you don't gather all your hair products together and like just to see what you have, you really don't know how much you have. The key is to go through every single product and determine if they either serve your hair well, if you like it, don't like it, you know, because we keep things sometimes even when we don't like them. As you make that decision, then you're going to put it in a category. So let's first take a look at what I have and you know, y'all don't, don't judge me. <laughs> okay, so this is legit everything, like literally everything that I have, like it's, it's kind of insane like I it's it's crazy I mean I got gels I got conditioners I've got stylers cleansers like oh look oh my god and all of this this is actually where I store most of my products so that they're not like out and about and so obviously storing them you know these are the things that I know I'm gonna keep a lot of this stuff is like brand new but like for example my my henna from henna souk and you know i have some some other pouches from them like as you can see i kind of went crazy when buying <laughs> a ton of stuff but what we're going to do is we're first going to like take everything out i know you can't see my head but i'm not important the products is what's important and we're going to go through and i'm going to determine do i actually need all of this stuff <laughs> All of these products do I really want them do I care about them maybe I will donate some of them maybe some of them I will just throw away because the money was already spent so anyway here we got design essentials compositions foamy wrap lotion I'm definitely keeping this so this is gonna go in a pile over here you don't see the pile right now I'll show you my piles later um, curl maker I've got two bottles of this. This is definitely staying. This is a staple. So I'll put that aside. And I'm actually going to do the categories after I purge. So this is Kalahari Smoothie Leave-In. I have this from Curls Dynasty. And I also have this Cocoa Mint Moisture Rich Shampoo. So I'm going to definitely keep both of these because I really like these products. So these are going um, here. And actually, I'm going to move from this particular container to the things on the floor because I think most of these I'm probably going to keep anyway so to make things go a little bit faster we're going to you know look at all the other stuff so Eco Styler Gel Pink Keep Cassie and Neem Hair Wash Keep Bamboo Charcoal Scalp Tonic Treatment by Shea Moisture mm, mm, I think I'm going to get rid of this even though it's like a half a bottle I really just didn't see any benefit in this product so this is going in the toss pile so this is going over there. Boop. Um, we have this Growth and Shine Balm, Biotin and Castor Oil, Camille Rose Naturals. I kind of like this, but I feel like I'm not really using it. Um, because this is a butter and it has a really long shelf life, I'm going to keep this because I think I will get around to using it. I may actually put it in one of my um, monthly hair routines. Okay. Tegan, of course, I just got this, so this stays. The We Dot Advanced Climate Control Defrigion Shampoo and Conditioner. This was sent to me to review. They're actually almost done, and while the, I think the products were pretty good, I can't see myself using these anymore because I just have things I love better. So I'm going to put this in the toss pile. Hello Hydration. Another staple. This stays, and it's actually almost empty, so I will use this up. Suave Rosemary Mint Invigorating Clean Shampoo. This is a clarifying shampoo. I use it maybe twice, and to be honest, I don't love it. It's very stripping, and so this is going in the toss. 
Herbal Essences Boosted Volume Body Envy Conditioner. I've had this forever and I don't reach for it, so toss. Cream Restore Conditioning Cleanser by Camille Rose Naturals, Coconut and Argan Oil. I've used up most of it, but I don't foresee using it anymore, so toss. Ah, Sweet Honey Hair Nourisher by Henna Souk. Keeping that, and I am definitely repurchasing it, so keep. Got his hair. All of these packets, I know for a fact I'm keeping these, so these are just going to go. These are just... All brand new, not even open, so these stay. Now, melanin hair care stays. Uh, healing clay stays. And then we've got this play it straight. I'm gonna tell you now. I know what these are. These are for the Revere. This is their product line. I these are really new, and I've been using them to blow my hair out sometimes. So these are staying. This I just got. <laughs> it's a healing power hair mask. Avocado, banana oil, coconut milk, and agave by Raw Sugar. A brand new mask. And I will definitely be back to share you my thoughts on this product. Um, I got this Got To Be Ultra Glued Invincible Styling Gel. I bought a sample size and I'm glad I did because I do not like this. It does not hold my hair even though it says it's Invincible Styling Gel and it's ultra glued. I actually also have the small version of the spike, the styling spiking glue by Got To Be, and I like this one better than this. So I'm keeping this one, which is almost empty. I am, however, not throwing this out because I just got it not too long ago. It's a small amount, so I'm going to keep it. I'm just going to use it on things like maybe to smooth my twist, but this is never getting bored again. I have Maury's Mineral Conditioner. That stays. Hemp Seed Oil. That stays. Um, henna soups camellia oil that stays eco styler gel almost empty and to be honest this is the black castor oil this gotta go i eh, it's okay i don't i don't even need to use the rest of it i don't i don't want it okay tegan's miracle repair hair mask i'm actually using this right now so this stays Creole Essence, Pomade Creole, Long Hair Don't Care Pomade. Love this, and this is staying and getting repurchased. Camille Rose Naturals Coconut Water Style Setter. This stays, but I, even though I've had this as a staple for a really long time, don't know that I'm going to repurchase this again because I do like some things better. So I'm going to continue and use this up so it's staying, but I am not going to probably buy it again. This biotin hair serum, I have a little bit left. This stays, and I'm definitely going to revisit this in the future once I work through some of these products. The Arcani Coil Care Edges um, and Throne Edges, this stays because I'm going to use it up. I'm actually using it now for the month of April, but I'm not repurchasing this. The Give Me Slip Blast Hydration Conditioner by Curls Dynasty, love this, this stays. Sweet Honey Hair Nourisher. This is a shampoo bar, and then I also have a henna pool bar. These stay. This is also Maury's uh, Mineral Shampoo. This is staying. The Eden Body Works Almond Marshmallow Hydration Serum. This stays. I'm going to finish it, but matter of fact, you know, as a matter of fact, no, I'm not going to finish this. I don't love this. It's okay, but this can go. The coconut, this is just coconut oil by Shea Moisture. This stays. The Blueberry Bliss Twist and Shout Cream. I actually liked how this did in twist. So I'm keeping this, but I'm not going to repurchase it because there are just other things that work better. Okay, Green Tea Length Strengthening Tea Rinse. This is by um, Belvoir Organic. Don't really find a need for this since I'm using the Moroccan Hair Tea. So this is going to go. I've got this coconut vinegar rinse by Anita Grant. This was gifted to me. I don't love it. So this is going. I'm not going to throw it though because it is glass. So I'm going to just slide that over there. I'm making my way through these products though. Okay. Zizivis Hair Wash by Henna Soup. Stay. Obviously Jamaican Black Castor Oil is staying. So these stay. L'Oreal Sleek It Iron Straight Heat Spray stays. Maurice Ultimate Growth Spray. This is staying for now, but I will say that this the orange um, serum, this one, the biotin hair serum, this one I like 
better. I feel like I saw results faster with this one, although this one gave me a lot of volume, but I think I'm just going to revert to this one for like stimulating growth. So I'll keep this, I'll use it, but I'm not going to rebuy this one. Kiki Curly Not Today, Staple Stays, Henna Soups, Moroccan Russell Mud Mask. I use this on my face and my hair, so this stays. Um, then I've got two bottles of, um, well, the main choice, so if this can be three in one re revitalize and refresh conditioner, this is, you can be used as a co-wash, leaving everything. It's barely anything in here and I'm not going to rebuy it even though I like it because again, other things are just as good. So that can go. However, this tropical Moringa sweet oil and honey restorative spray, I love this. So this stays. Trader Joe's Tingle Tree, Tingle, Tea Tree Tingle Conditioner with Invigorating Peppermint Oils. This can go. Didn't love it. It's also kind of like a clarifier, but don't love it. So that can go. Then we've got here um, my Organic Amla Powder by Henna Souk. Another packet. This stays. And look, I've cleaned up this whole section here. It doesn't take a lot to decide what I like. Coco Veda oil, coconut hair oil by Henna Soup. Love this. This stays. This is good as a final rinse oil. This Pantene um, conditioner, I had this little sample size. Don't love it. It can go. Okay, and now we're back to this container right here. And now I'm going to actually lift the camera a little bit so we can be a little bit more face-to-face. -face. Okay, so now that I have worked my way through all those other products, I just got a few more. This is the um, Sweet Mimosa Butter by Henna Souk. Love this. This stays. I've got this Black Castor Oil Hair Food. I really, really like this. This stays. This is a good scalp moisturizer. Okay, then I have two jars of hair paint wax. Honestly, I've only used these like twice. But I'm thinking this is a really good summer thing. And because it, doesn't, it has a long shelf life, I'm going to keep these. Um, I have some more M Moroccan Rasul clay that obviously stays. I have these products by Belvoir Organic, this guacamole ultra nourishing hair mask. And there's a few other things in here. It's supposed to be um, like this little like kit or something. To be honest, I, I didn't even. This is aloe vera leave-in and curl refresh to make a curl refresher spray. I didn't even try this, but I do want to try it because I do like aloe vera. So I'm going to keep this one. However, this guacamole hair mask situation, I tried this, did not love it. So this can go. Then there's another packet here, Hibiscus Restorative Hair Mask. Um, yeah, I don't really care about this. So that, I'm going to keep this little spoon that came with it. So these two will stay. Um, the guacamole, well, not these two. This one with the aloe vera will stay. This one can go. I've got some vegetable glycerin that stays. I've got this henna care balm. This is not really a hair product per se. It's just like a protectant when doing henna. So this will stay. I've got this flaxseed edge control gel. The balm, if you could have some gray hairs. It's by Natural, so that stays. I've got my Camille Rose Naturals Coconut Water Leave-In. And I know y'all know this has been a staple. If you've been a follower of mine for any time, this has been a staple for years and years and years. It's finally time to say goodbye because I really love Melanin Hair Care's Leave-In Conditioner and I love my Kinky Curly Knot today. There's no reason for me to have a ton of leave-in conditioner. So this, I'm going to use it up, but not repurchasing. Now my battery's kind of going low and I hope I don't get cut off. However... Let me really quickly, I just got a few more things here. I just got this As I Am Restore and Repair um, Jamaican Black Castor Oil Smoothie. I'm going to share this in a future video, but I, this stays, it's brand new. The Almond Jai Twisting Butter. It was okay, but to be honest, I can do without it, so it can go. I still have some lab, leftover Shea Bay mask, and y'all know how I feel about Shea Bay if you watch any of my videos. This can go. I have this gel, Curl Crush Around the Way gel. It's still good. I'm keeping it because it's really good for a wash and go in my hair. Camille Rose Naturals Lavender Crush Defining Gel. Hated this product. It's going to go. It's a full bottle. I'm going to find some kind of way. Somebody will get use out of it, but it won't be me. So that can go. I have some more edge control, something I got from like a hair show. This actually works really well, so I'm going to keep this and use it up, but obviously not repurchasing. 
I have this braid out pearly braid out great blue pearly braid out glaze from main choice that is staying it is really really good but I'm not gonna repurchase it but I'm keeping it because there's a lot and I do like it I have this gel by Anita Grant this hair gel I liked it but it's almost empty like why do I still have this gone Main choice, uh, Ancient Egyptian. Oh, this is the um, Split End Treatment Serum. I really like this, but I'm finding I can get the same out of Jamaican Black Castor Oil. Watch a future video for what I am about to share on GABCO. So this actually is going to go. The main choice, um, sweet, sweet Oil and Honey Endless Moisture Sealing Cream. This this actually is going to go because it's, it's fake freaking empty. Like, why do I have this? This is, this is, this is a good exercise, people. Belvoir Organics Exclusive Scalp Cleanser Tea Rinse. Never even opened it. Have no interest. Someone gifted it to me, but this can go. I will actually, I probably will just give this away, but it's going to go. Then we've got the Oh Mimosa Hair Honey by Carol's Daughter. It's just a little sample size. I love it. I'm keeping it, but I probably won't buy it because I'm trying to, you know, minimize. And then I have this um, Passion Fruit Curl Control Paste by Curls. It's okay. Don't love it. Almost empty. It can go. So that's going. And oh my gosh, that is it. So let me just give you a look of everything that is going. Obviously, I'm keeping a lot more than I'm giving away and throwing away, but I have made some progress. Take a look. So here is what I am getting rid of. I think I made a pretty good dent <laughs> in the products of that's Charlie over there. You may have noticed him from a previous video. Really popular one. I'll leave a link in the description box below. So I sorted and this here is my collection of oils. Here you'll find my edge controls and my gels. I only have three deep conditioners. Here are my styling products. These are what I like to call my supporting products. They're kind of like stylers also, but like, you know, like the heat straightener. Here I have my rinsing conditioners. I only have three. Here I have my cleansers. So my hair wash, my shampoos, my shampoo bar. Here I have my herbal hair powders and I have some additional ones but they're in jars, so I didn't pull those out because those are all staying anyway. Here I have sort of, then here I have products that I will categorize as other. So like the hair color, the temporary hair color, the uh, Mori hair spray, and the serum for the growth balm. Here are my four leave-in conditioners. So now to the next most important part when it comes to the purging. After I've purged and I've categorized, now it's time to take inventory of all of my products. And this is how I do it. Here I have my hair products inventory sheet. There's a place to make note of my shampoos, clay washes, and co-wash products. On the next page, there's space to track rinsing conditioners, deep conditioners, and leave-ins. Then we have a place for stylers with space to track waxes and pomades, mousses, volumizers, gels, and creams. On the next page is space to track other items. You have other heat protectants, scalp treatments, protein treatments, and even your pre-poo products. These are what I call your special treatments. Next, there's a page to track your sealants, which is your butters and your oils. Then, the last page is to track all of your herbs. I broke the sections up into strengthening, moisturizing, and balancing herbs. I'm not going to film me writing down every single product that I own. We'll be here all day. I will do a few to show you how it's done, starting with the shampoo. You first write down the name of the product. And then of course, then after the name of the product, you're going to write down the quantity of the product that you have right now on hand. So I have one. And then you're gonna write down how many you need to buy. I plan to buy this again, but it's full, so I'm putting zero. You can always adjust this. I'm using erasable pen. The budget is for how much the product costs or how much you are willing to pay for it. So you put that down here. Then you will put where you would be able to purchase it. 
Okay, so I'm putting Target. Then there's a place to put a note about the product. I'm notating here that this shampoo is very moisturizing. Other notes you can make are like what I'm doing here with the Kinky Curly Knot Today Leave-In. I notate that I use this to create my DIY Kim A Tube Leave-In Recipe. Now we come to the end of the video with my completed inventory. Here are all my cleansers, my conditioners, my stylers, all of the products that I actually own. Now I know exactly what I have. Now for the giveaway. If you stay to the end, thank you. This hair products inventory tracker is available in my Etsy shop, which I will link down below. I want to give away a set to one of you as a token of my appreciation for your support. Just leave a comment below sharing what product type you have way too much of. I'll pick someone at random in next Tuesday's video. Thanks for watching and God bless.